Hi guys, it is day five of the Master Cleanse, and I wanted to um, do this from outside. We just got in from church, and I kind of wanted to show you some things. I'm kind of, um, I got the message of one of my subscribers, and I'm going to try to pronounce it right. I think it is Mazagi1000. You are absolutely right. I do hide behind clothes, um, especially throughout the week, because I'm kind of in mommy mode. And, uh, yeah, most of my t-shirts are too big, so I do need to work on stop hiding behind clothes. And if I can tell anybody else, if you're on a weight loss journey and have lost a significant amount of weight, wear your right size, okay? Uh, for instance, I just wanted to show you, not necessarily an outfit of the day, but just to show you what I'm wearing today. These pants are a little bit more form-fitting. They show you uh, a little bit of my shape. Um, they are a size 2X, but let me show you something. They're 2X, guys. 2X, and I know they're elastic in the waist, and I generally have to buy for my hip, but as you can see, they're really too big for me, okay? So I do need to start buying clothes that fit, all right? So I'll work on that. Thanks for the advice. Uh, it is day five, and you're right. It seems to be getting easier. It seems like a second nature for me not to be eating. Uh, I'm going to put a video also of what the family had for dinner today, which was very, very tempting. They are not on the master cleanse. I am on the master cleanse. And, um, yeah, it's just getting easier. I have not had anything to drink yet except my salt flush this morning. I'm going to go in. It's about 2 o'clock. I'm going to go in and have my first lemonade of the day. And, um, yeah, just take it from that. I thought today would be really hard. Today is my oldest. We were going to celebrate her birthday today. Her birthday is tomorrow. But we ended up getting some soul food. And um, it was easy. I went in, picked the soul food, and came out. So... There are temptations there. I just think it's mind over matter. So thanks for watching, and I will continue to do this. Day five of the Master Cleanse. All right. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Baby girl got some discipline, all right? Yeah. Discipline. Hey. Sit down. <laughs> what are you eating today? And chicken. Okay, baby girl has discipline. What is discipline? Discipline means I'm not having any. Hubby not home from church yet, but look what he has. If I can get it open. Look at that. Now you know I have discipline. Look at that. <gasps> Very good. Steam still coming off of it, guys. What else do we have here? Look at that. Can you? Uh, seriously? Day five, I've not had one morsel of food drop through my mouth. Not one. And one might say, well, how can you do it? It's discipline. Mind over matter. Today is day five. I've not had anything to eat yet. But the family is not on the master clan, so they get to eat. Right? <laughs> Mind over matter. Yes. I'm going to get through this. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Bye. Okay, Doc, guys. I am in the office and I have just uploaded uh, my last video from yesterday. So today's video will be in real time. So when I upload this, we will be in real time. Today is May 5th and today is the fifth day of the Master Cleanse. I just made me... Um, I'm drinking lemon, uh, you know, my lemonade mix. So this is my first one I've had and I had like a glass. So this is, um, my third glass like this, but this is my first 20 ounce that I've had. I just put some cayenne pepper in it. I made it really, really red. Um, this is really hot, but so I'm going to try to drink this down real quick. You guys might not know, but cayenne pepper, the longer it sits, the hotter it gets. So this is hot. And actually, it's a good, um, it's a change, really, to make it a little bit more spicier because it just, like, um, instead of just having it plain like I normally did, this is, you know, pretty good. It almost makes, makes me think about not eating, so. Yeah. Day five has been going real good. We have got it from church. Um, what else? Yeah, services were really, really nice today. We burned the mortgage on a $2.5 million 
Community Center in five years. That's really good. Really good service today. Proud of the church. Uh, what else is going on? You probably saw that video of the food. I'm not going to eat. I'm going to probably go upstairs. Um, and I'm going to run out. i got to get a card for my daughter. She's turning uh, tomorrow's her birthday. So she's turning a year old tomorrow. Happy birthday, mommy's little honey bunny. Uh, so I'm going to run out and get her a card. We were supposed to go. I was going to take her to um, the mall. and like She loves to shop, so let her get what she wants. We weren't going to do anything this year. Uh, we were going to take her out to dinner, but because services were a little bit longer at church, uh, a lot of dignitaries were there, and um, it just got to be late. You know, it's like 5 o'clock now. By the time we get to the mall, it'll be over with. So, But day 5 has been really good. Um, one of my subscribers says, like, staying busy, that's another thing. Not being alone, temptation, so... Uh, today is day five. I'm halfway through. Five more days to go. Um, probably thinking about tomorrow. I'm going to really probably try to be busy all day tomorrow. I can see that it's becoming easier. Like now I'm hungry. I'm not having, it's so weird. That I'm not having the sensation of hunger. I just feel like I can go in there and eat something. But it's not like I thought it was going to be, guys. For me, it has not been that, ooh, I got to eat. I cannot believe I'm not eating. Like when I, you know, go without food during the day and you come home and you're like, oh, I just got to eat. I got to eat. I don't have that urge, but I just feel like I showed you the soul food we had. I'm not even a fried chicken eater like that, but for some reason I could just go in there and take a bite of my husband's fried chicken that he hasn't eaten yet either. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> so this cayenne pepper is really hot. I can feel it. You know, it's supposed to be good for the uh, circulatory system and... It's got vitamins in it also. But because I make this extra hot, when you drink it, I could actually like feel it like in my chest. So I'm going to hurry up and drink this because I don't want it to get any hotter. Yeah. And also, I had another subscriber tell me about the tea that I'm drinking, that one of the side effects is cramping. So I was thinking that maybe, look at me doing self-diet, you know, trying to self-diagnose myself the um cramping that I was having because I did have it again this morning um it might not be the sea salt flush it might be that ballerina tea that I'm taking uh I actually did a little bit of research and it does have senna I think I'm pronouncing it correct in it and one of the side effects is stomach cramping yeah who who knew so um I have I have been following the master cleanse to a T with the exception of the first day or the day before you start the cleanse, you're supposed to take a uh, tea laxative the night before. I did not do that. I started my laxative the day of the actual cleanse. So that's basically the only exception I've had. I've used the cayenne pepper like they told me to. I've done the salt water flushes every day. I have not had one morsel of food. I haven't even had gum yet, guys, because I'm afraid. I definitely don't want my breath to be stinking. But trust me, you you saw the video of my daughter yesterday. <laughs> she would be the one to say, Mommy, you need to brush your teeth. So, uh, But I'm almost afraid because um, you know how when you eat something and eating makes you want to eat more? I'm almost afraid that it'll kick up the craving because I'm not craving food. I'm not like, ooh, I just need to eat. Oh, I'm going to eat. I'm not having the craving, so I'm af almost afraid if I chew the gum, because the gum um, is a fruit flavor gum, I'm afraid it'll send me to back like craving food. So I'm just going to, if I can get away with it, just brush my teeth more than twice a day, which would be great for my teeth. So, And um, somebody also said something about the lemon and this, you know, acid on your teeth. That's probably why I'm drinking it out of a straw. I think I remember Oprah saying something like that once. Drinking it from a straw because it just it doesn't sit on your teeth. You're not swallowing it. And it's just like melting on your teeth. And I am brushing more, so. Mm hmm But that's it. Uh, what else? Nothing much. It's mighty quiet. I don't know where the little one is. I know my husband's in there asleep watching a game. So I may go and kick up and watch the game with him. See how his day has been. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for all my new little comments. I really appreciate it. Um, 
Yeah. That tea, that, that tea comment from, um, I can't remember, Poetic Sister or Poetic, um, my subscriber. Thank you, because that probably is the tea doing it for me, because I'm not used to taking a laxative at all. I, that was my first time ever taking a laxative tea. Um, I'm a tea drinker, but never like like a laxative tea. And I've really been enjoying that. Like, that's been a little bit of um, like a change. So at nighttime, I kind of cozy up like, ooh, I, you know, I get to have some tea. And that's probably what's making my stomach cramp, so... Anyway, today it wasn't as bad. I have not; it has not cramped uh, all day today. Like I said, to did the salt water flush, did a uh, good elimination this morning, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna continue it as planned, and I'm gonna try to drink this real, real quick before it gets really hot. Look at that cayenne pepper in the bottom. I just stirred it up; you can't see it, but yeah. All right, guys, this might be the last time unless something happens. And I'll try to upload this video so we'll be in real time. So, hi, everybody. Can you believe I'm doing this? I'm doing this in real time. I was so afraid to even post these videos because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. And I definitely don't want to have another um, situation where I put something out there and I didn't finish like I thought I would. But hate to say I'm braggadocious. I'm doing pretty good on this. And tomorrow will be day six. But I'm really going to try to plan something tomorrow because I definitely don't want to get this far and have the temptation. And now I'm almost afraid to... I spoke too soon. And now I'm almost afraid to eat something because I know it would tear my stomach. I mean, I know you have to ease off on this. Yeah. You want to say hi? Hello. I have a paper clip. Oh. What did bend. you do with it? I just bended it. Okay. Put that down. I don't want you to get hurt with that. Don't do that. Put that in the trash. Okay. That noise oh. coming. All right. Uh, I'm getting ready. Like I said, they are Peace. surrounding me. Here's another one. We got gold. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Peace. We got to go to Atlantis. Hi, guys. Day five. And look who I got driving me around today. Say hi, guys. Hi. It's a birthday girl on the back. Hi, guys. We're trying to find something to do on this Sunday afternoon, May 5th, 2013. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, right. Y'all might be quiet, Mirabella. Mirabella, Magnolia. I was hoping we would find something to do so I would not eat. I was going to go to the park, but Dad promised. Come on, let me rest a little bit and we'll go. Okay? Let me just rest a little bit. Since you put me on camera. <laughs> I'm good. See, I can pass it around and not intake. Man. I'm good. Better than me. I'm good. I'll be sneaking. Huh? And don't get me into the camera. because it's gonna be I'll be rude. telling y'all one thing and I'll be doing another. No, you can't do that with this because if I eat something now, it'll probably tear my stomach up really, really bad. Wow, look at that. Can anyone truck, whatever anywhere? Race car. This Gary put in trash and Gary didn't get out. All right, guys, that's it. A beautiful day, Sunday, May 5th, 2013, day five. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace. Okay, it is day five, and I'm having a serious... This is the first time I can say I'm hungry. I'm hungry. My stomach is making some growling noise. I'm going to go in and try to drink some lemonade. I think because I've only had, like, maybe 30 ounces of uh, liquid today, I need to get another 30 down because I'm supposed to have at least 60. I am really hungry. And it doesn't help. I'm walking through Marshall's. Um, went to pick up some earphones for my daughter. Early birthday present. And I'm looking at granola. I'm looking at popcorn. I'm looking at gummy bears. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm having a real, real bad. 
I'm going to the house and get something to drink though, and I'll I'll let you know. But this is this is the first day I can probably say why am I doing this. But this this will pass. I know it will. I'm, it's about 7.30, almost 8 o'clock. I'm going to go in the house, upload the videos from the day so we can be real-time people, real-time. I don't think y'all can even see me. Oh, here I am. We can be real-time, okay? <sighs> I'm going to go in the house. Okay, this light is not flattering at all. Okay, it's going to pass. I know it is. And I'm thinking about that salmon I made last night. It'll be so good over some pasta with some hot sauce. Uh, oh my God, I'm hungry. Okay, this is going to pass. It's going to pass. This is going to pass. This is the first day I really felt like this, really. Like, I am hungry. Can y'all hear my stomach? Listen. <laughs> It is making some mean noises. I wish it would do it again so y'all can hear it. If I can get that on tape, man. Okay. Ugh, my allergy's starting to kick up too. All right, I'm about to go in the house. And I will see you when it's time for me to... I won't wait till it's time for me to drink my tea. But I will see you in a minute because I am going to do another video to let you know that I got over this and that I did not eat anything. And as a matter of fact, now because it's day five, I'm almost afraid to eat anything because if I eat something like I bought hamburger buns today when I was in the dollar store. If I chow down on a big hamburger with cheese and mayo, mustard, tomato, uh, onions, pickles, that would tear my stomach up after not eating for five days. So I know I'm not going to eat or drink. I mean, I'm not going to eat anything now because I'm almost afraid to put anything in my mouth. I haven't even had gum. So the next video will be of me telling you I was able to drink my lemonade and be okay. All right. And then I'm going to bed. I'm going to hit the bed early. Yes. I want my stomach to growl again so y'all can hear it on tape. It won't work. Okay. I, I, I've talked myself down. Okay. Bye. Okay, guys. Uh, as you see, I just had a meltdown. Uh, I'm, it's about 8 o'clock, and I'm getting ready to take it down for the night. Um, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. This is how much liquid I need to get down, or my lemonade mix. If you can see this and this. This is a full 20 ounces here, and this is probably... 16 ounces, maybe. So I got almost 40 ounces to get down. That's the problem. I'm not drinking enough, and I, that's why I had a meltdown a minute ago. I can honestly say uh, the video you saw was the first time that I felt like I wanted to chew my arm off and eat. Um, yeah. And when I drank this, this is the first time, honestly, when I drank this with the cayenne pepper, I literally, in 15 minutes, could feel it in my bloodstreams. I know y'all think I'm lying, but I could feel it coursing through, seriously, my veins. So I understand about the cayenne pepper. And, um... I just got to do better about spacing these drinks. My problem is with eating, the discipline of not eating. That's my issue. I can go all day without eating. And then when I do eat, um, sometimes it's healthy and sometimes it's not good. It's not, it's not like I gorge on food, but it is, um, you know, your body starts to store fat when you don't eat. You really need to eat. And with this, this is going to teach me that I know I'm disciplined enough for five days not to eat any food. So now I need to be disciplined enough to eat correctly, to eat throughout the day. Good things, not just a piece of candy or um, drinking calories. So, yeah, I talked myself off the mountain and I'm good to go. Uh, I'm going to upload this video. So we're real time now. This is today uh, is May 5th, 2013, and we are real time. So, yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm about to head to bed. And um, that's it. As soon as I drink all of this. And then I need to drink tea. And it's 8 o'clock. So it's my fault for doing this. So, Alright. So y'all, good night. I'm going to really take it down. I'm going to upload this video. And I'm, and I'm done. Peace. Bye.